Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Abdul um, Shawake, Onikonik Dhonubad, for being with us and watching this video that we are bringing to you from Built Bangladesh Foundation. I'm Chaudhary Abdullah Qasid, the founder, chairperson, and the president of Built Bangladesh Foundation. And we are joined here uh, today by three of my fellow uh, co founders of Build Bangladesh Foundation. Tadir, I to quickly put it Korea We have Shakil Pai. Um, he's uh, the CEO of uh, EP Group and he's also one of the directors of Build Bangladesh. We have Mahbub Bhai, he's a head of HR of DHL and he's also one of our directors at Build. And we have Nazia, um, she is the head of HR and organizational development at a local group of companies. And of course, we are here today to have a wonderful discussion with the very, very famous designer and at the same time she is actually working tremendously hard to promote Bangladesh as a brand. It's Mahin Khan. Um, on our further Ashale introduction at Kichade, but she's the founder of the brand Mayasir and also um, the founder president of a Bangladesh Fashion Design Council. So the reason that we are all gathered here today is to talk a little bit about our organization, Build Bangladesh Foundation. Um, we also want to discuss a little bit about the work that we do, about CSR, and about vision for Bangladesh, on our vision for Bangladesh, and how we as Build can actually help in implementing that vision as well. So, um, over to you. So as you know that um, Build Bangladesh is uh, an initiative that we've taken, Jake and Amra, um, professionals, entrepreneurs, we try to bring everybody together, brainstorm and come up with good ideas which we pass on to uh, policy makers and decision makers uh, in governance. And we try and bridge the gap in between what the general people are thinking about how the country can be run better and how it is actually run. A gap that we try and uh, fill, and we try and also maybe help in implementing some of the ideas that um, we are generating. So, what do you think about um, an organization like this uh, coming into existence, and what role do you think an organization like this can actually play in the development of Bangladesh? Absolutely, thank you, uh, Kasi. Um, I'm very pleased that you are here to share our story from the Fashion Council. Um, I think it is such an important uh, initiative to build a bridge between governance, policy makers and the stakeholders, you mm -hmm. know, people, the general people, people in uh, different uh, uh, professions, mm -hmm. uh, entrepreneurs uh, and, uh, you know, single moms, you know, uh, women mm -hmm. and I think the diversity is very important, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, people people really need to uh, have a platform to speak, mm -hmm. uh, to communicate, to uh, you know begin to develop a, a sense of uh, you know belonging somewhere that mm -hmm. they can be uh, you know um, someone or an institution who can actually. Uh, put their forward mm -hmm. uh, their uh, thoughts and ideas. curiosity, their ideas, their mm, desires, uh, basic needs. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, it's very, uh, our voices are heard. Mm -hmm. You know that's the key factor because I think not enough is said, not enough is shared mm -hmm. uh, amongst different professions, and mm, there needs to be a lot more. Mm -hmm. uh, much more that we can do to uh, connect people, mm -hmm. basically, you know, whether you're connecting to the um, highest policy makers or whether you're connect connecting someone who is, let's say, uh, you know, uh, in a teaching profession. Right, you know? of course. And um, I think there's so much more that we can actually do with this. Uh, as far as my organization is concerned, we uh, have been very blessed mm -hmm. and we've worked really hard mm -hmm. to uh, convince uh, the corporate uh, in you know corporate uh, institutions mm -hmm. and uh, mm, uh, to support our event mm -hmm. which is mm -hmm. all about Bangladesh all mm -hmm. about Bangladeshi uh, textiles mm -hmm. and Bangladeshi uh, weavers, mm -hmm. uh, designers, mm -hmm. 
So it's basically trying to promote the intellectual property of Bangladesh. And at that point, actually, I mean, just Otay to both of us, um, CSR is one of the very uh, uh, core values that we want to promote through Build Bangladesh Foundation. So, Mahina Prakajan, there's a lot of CSR, we did a bolt in promoting Bangladesh, promoting the brand of Bangladesh, among yeah. other local textile. And I had the pleasure and honor of actually working with Mahina <coughs> in. Um, well, one of her recent events, the Khadi Festival as well. And that's just one of numerous such events that she has organized. So if you could tell us a little bit about the work that you do and how that is actually a great CSR initiative which maybe more organizations should support and why they should support. Well, what I do, I've always been a revivalist. I've always tried to revive old traditions, heritage of Bangladesh and give it a new uh, face. Mm -hmm. You know, because I think transformation of old heritage is very important. Mm -hmm. Not destroying it, but really uh, giving it, a, you know, a, like a rebirth. Uh, absolutely. I mean, it has to for the new generation. Mm -hmm. You know, you need to uh, create ideas that they can understand mm -hmm. well. You know, and appreciate well, and feel it's global or it's mm -hmm. today's and it is uh, contemporary. So what, what we have tried to do through the Fashion Council, we have been very, um, you know, seriously, you know, talked about it within ourselves that we don't want to look um, South Asian or mm -hmm. we don't want to look local. You know, we I think we are all way way more global now. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and we feel that we are global citizens. You know? <laughs> so uh, having said that. We also have thousand year old heritage, you know, mm -hmm. so how do you actually uh, make someone you know, who is, you know, young uh, and, uh, you know, very... Uh, Trendy. Yeah, I mean, someone who is very contemporary, mm -hmm. young, uh, very well versed in, uh, you know, with the international fashion sense mm -hmm. and doesn't want to look so, you know, uh, regional, mm -hmm. uh, how do you, you know, find them as an audience? Right. So, uh, we decided that when we do something, when we work with our local materials, we must be able to transform it in such a way that mm -hmm. it looks very chic mm -hmm. and today's. Mm -hmm. so, so, we approached our CSR uh, <coughs> You know, supporters, our you know, fund people to, who could fund us an event like this that is green, that is mm -hmm. environment friendly, that is ethical fashion, mm -hmm. slow mm -hmm. fashion, because fast fashion is actually destroying our yeah. traditions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we, you know, worked with them, with all our partners, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, we decided that you know, it's a good event, it's a good program, mm -hmm. it's a good way to. Yeah, really, you know, support our local industry, local yeah. artisans, craftspeople, and the in designers who mm -hmm. are very creative. Right. And um, the creative industry all over the world are supported by the government, the private corporate bodies mm -hmm. as well. And uh, because it, it is uh, important that. Uh, we encourage this this kind of creative endeavors. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, just for Tashali to follow up, correct the short question. I mean, would you like to say something to encourage uh, more organizations to come forward to support this initiative of yours and why they should actually support this kind of an initiative? Yeah, I, I, I think that? it's very important mm -hmm. that uh, the living arts of Bangladesh mm -hmm. is dying because our lifestyles have changed, um, cheap uh, imports have kind of flooded the market um, and so unless we um, take initiatives to uh, develop products using our skills and resources mm -hmm. and make it uh, in a way that it is easily uh, functional mm -hmm. in our today's lifestyle. Functional is very important, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. just being decorative is not enough. Right. So, um, I think it's a very important initiative and uh, more people um, should 
come and support be us. actually you know uh, generous mm -hmm. and and think that Bangladeshi uh, you know everything to do with Bangladeshi you know deep rooted mm -hmm. traditions should be encouraged <coughs> for our future generation. So, uh, that's oh, our that's our message to um, actually the viewers as well and all our partners. <coughs> This is the, our message to all the viewers and all the entrepreneurs who are actually watching our program as well. Ashley, this 800 cards data hot with the local fabrics textile. This is a great CSR initiative, and that's also something that you can think of supporting as well. And now moving on to Amader Jeta, director major in Jeta Thilo chapter of Build Bangladesh, which is uh, talking about the visions uh, for Bangladesh. To share any into the after might I might just uh, take it over from Kasim Bhai about uh, your your dedication for fashion industry for so many years, building a brand like Mayasi and you know. You well, I think um, I don't want to limit it to just the fashion industry. I think okay. as a, a mother, as a woman, I I I you know I take it very seriously that security. I would like to see women feel Important. secured enough to mm -hmm. be out there working. Um, you know, with men and in the community and making a contribution mm -hmm. for the future of Bangladesh. Mm, I also feel uh, mobility is very important that people can actually, you know, use right. public yeah, transport, yes. mm -hmm. go to places, do, be able to uh, comfortably do things and I, I think more can be done in yeah, that that's, area. That's very yes. Yes. Very um, I also think that uh, the future is technology and uh, I think skill development in being more adept at mm, you know performing technical um, you know uh, skills mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, tools you know mm -hmm. using tools that are future tools right. uh, for the progress of Bangladesh for mm -hmm. the advancement of men women of Bangladesh mm -hmm. that is very important mm -hmm. I also think education is very important mm -hmm. I think our mm, yes, you know system of education needs to improve uh -huh. um, we have increased in volume and increased in number of institutions but I think the quality of you know, of the you know institutions um, is questionable mm -hmm. and more should be done to mm -hmm. improve the quality of education in Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. um, and so, so if we if we just scale it down to a vision of Mahin Khan, how would you like to? You know, I would like to in, see in, say, Bangladeshi. In the next five ten years. Yeah, I would, I, like I would really that. like to see Bangladeshi men and women uh, look smart, mm -hmm. uh, feel confident, and uh, and they should be able to command a certain amount of uh, you know skills mm -hmm. that will take them to the next, next level of mm -hmm. of advancement okay that's that's wonderful that's wonderful and since uh, yeah. yeah. if there are any thoughts that you would like to share on on, on the topic as we're on the topic as yet we really need to be confident. Yeah, you know, we need, uh, confidence yeah. is 50 to 50 percent of of getting anywhere, you know. Mm -hmm. And we lack confidence because we don't get the opportunity to, uh, you know, experiment, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or we don't get the opportunity to. Be exposed to different environments. So coming out from the uh, opportunity that you are saying, uh, Bangladesh actually market, Bangladeshi product to the market court. Remaining within Bangladesh is not enough. So maybe we go outside and showcase our best products coming out from our history well, and culture. I think to How we are doing it? Then? Oh, well, um, we've just started this, uh, mm. you know, program where we feel that we really need to take local ideas. Global, to you global know, things. globally, mm -hmm. uh, it should be uh, exposed. But in order to do that, it is to say, in, the, in order to do it, we really need to invest in research and development. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, just taking, thinking, oh, this is a great Bangladeshi product. Let's take it to Frankfurt Fair. Is not enough. Not enough. Mm -hmm. Not enough. 
So because we need, we need to know that this product that we want to showcase, whether mm, there is a market for that, if mm -hmm. there is a market, then who are the buyers? Who are the target customers? Right. Who are aspiring to buy right. such a exactly. product? Exactly. Are there many, many uh, principal ideas that needs to be supported mm -hmm. uh, to find a market? And Bangladesh has been extremely successful in the RNG sector mm -hmm. um, because we are great at uh, uh, you know developing not value-added new products, but uh, you know we are basically making goods for other people mm -hmm. you know, and, uh, by by their, by their specifications. Design. But we've been able to assemble things, produce it, and that's an, I think we have come a very long way. Well, I found the know. next step is to actually promote our designs <laughs> internationally. <laughs> so one question I that I was about to ask, like, uh, do you think that you know? Pro, uh, Participating in those fashion shows outside of the world, other than in Bangladesh, is helpful for showcasing our products? Or what percentage or how many people are doing it currently? Or do you have a plan to participate? Well, um, I think the creative industry is different. Mm -hmm. uh, when you are developing something intellectually, uh, you, you are on your own. Um, but at the same time, it's important that you uh, build a you know, a platform to exchange ideas mm -hmm. uh, initially. Like, you know, we are inviting designers from Malaysia, okay. Thailand, Sri Lanka, so Bhutan, uh, Nepal. Yeah. Yeah. So they are coming here uh, because nobody is asking us to go there, you know. So <laughs> them, okay, let me have them come <laughs> here. And we are already working on our own things. but. We also get to see what they are doing. Exactly. So exactly. when we first started, we only had uh, Indian designers coming right. to Bangladesh, right. and then we felt that oh, we should do Sri Lanka as well and Nepal as well. So they came, and then we said okay, less India, but we also need to go to the ASEAN countries right. because mm -hmm. you know we have a lot to learn from them as well because they've really advanced uh, wow. tremendously in the last fifty years. Amar Shabshmay boli je oh, amader deshe. Dhaka airport was so much bigger than uh, Bangkok airport, you know, mm -hmm. we were so much more advanced. <laughs> I my uncles and aunts say, oh my god, you know, our airport, our institutions, <laughs> our lifestyle was so much better than Thai or mm -hmm. Malaysian. Mm -hmm. Only 50 so years ago, you know. Exactly. Uh, so in the last 50 years, look where they've been able to achieve and mm -hmm. where, how we have remained uh, backward, you know. So I think they have really emphasized on education, mm -hmm, if mm -hmm. I'm not wrong, uh, and um, and being self-sufficient. Shakil, bhai, the last yeah. kitchen, yeah. Yeah. So so the thakke, we have so to wrap up on time. Even if you can mm -hmm. share that after ten years, after ten years from now on, so if you want to see Bangladesh in which places, and for that case. Uh, can you share some two or three specific points that will help to see Bangladesh? But after Vishal Tatop, you already bought exactly. it. Yeah. But a couple of specific, specific uh, things, things right. what we can do to get there. Exactly. So I think uh, skill development is a key mm -hmm. factor. Um, improving, you know, skill development with the only kitchen to learn, communication, mm -hmm. uh, technology, Soft skills, technical right. skills, everything. Uh -huh. I think I really hope that. Uh, we can develop this area of, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. of nurture and hone our skills mm -hmm. and be confident enough to showcase mm -hmm. showcase okay. our products to the world you know uh, we, are, we are already great at um, you know our we get a huge uh, you know international revenue revenue coming in, coming yeah. in. Uh, because of the manpower that we are mm -hmm. able to export. Yeah. But imagine if we, our manpower was skilled, then you know, how much yes. more we could yeah, attain. Right, 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 you know? that's so I think skill development is key. We, our biggest resource is our people, mm -hmm. our population, our, you know, there is so rich. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we can really use it to, to mm -hmm. really uh, take Bangladesh to the next. Millennium. Thank you very much, Mahinapa, uh, for giving us so much of your time. Um, are there any organization that we have a request uh, to you that uh, I hope that you will be one of our advisors. And we're not just going to have you as an ornamental advisor, but every few months we will actually organize programs where we bring in the advisors, we mm -hmm. update them. So you, we hope that you'll have a little bit of an active role as an advisor with us. 
Thank you, Kasi. That's a very generous uh, offer. I would love to contribute uh, and share my ideas mm -hmm. and hopefully, you know, add a little value to your organization. Uh, I look forward to it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you. much. Abra, the, we've come to the end of the discussion. To summarize, Kup Shankhepe, basically, Bahina Parvishan, Jeta for Bangladesh, Sheta Hotse, people should be smart, they should dress well, they should be confident, Telemera, uh, men, women should be able to work together, there should be better mobility, Shabdik uh, Teke development, skill development, Kathoni Onik Beshikura emphasized Kuratsen, also education and awareness, and the tools that she has emphasized on Jeta Lagbe in order to get there. Sheta Hotse, more education, training, and. Technology and technology and technology, technology and skills. Yeah, so um, on that note, and also uh, requesting everyone also to support the CSR initiatives that um, she is taking on from uh, the platform of the Bangladesh Fashion Design Council. We would now like to bring our discussion to a close by handing over a crest of appreciation to Mahina. But we would like to um, express our appreciation to you for accepting uh, to be one of our advisors and for the time that you've given us today by handing you a small crest of appreciation. I'm requesting all my honorable colleagues to uh, hand it over to you so we can all sure. maybe stand for the video as well. Yeah. Thank you very much for being with us and uh, joining us today and we hope that we'll be able to present you with more such discussions in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you.